We're here with VMI head coach Brian Ankin after a difficult 16-8 to loss against Mercer. Uh, coach, any opening statements? Yeah, I mean, great job for Mercer today. And, uh, you know, such a great day for us with the Wounded Warrior Project and, and getting an opportunity to, to raise some funds for, uh, for that program, something we take a lot of pride in. Uh, really disappointing on our end today, but uh, some really a tale of two halves. We just dug ourselves too deep of a hole in that first half uh, to, through 100% fault of our own, but uh, just dug a little bit too much of a hole to be able to, to fight back. But I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the fight from start to finish, just, uh, just lacking in that execution department consistently. Um, you know, down big, but you came back, scored six goals in the second half. Uh, big day from uh, freshman Gage Snowbarger. Yeah, you know, Gage is, is really progressed this year. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of his development, and, and he earns every minute of playing time that he's gotten over the last couple of weeks, and, and especially in the man-up department, he's he's produced really well. And you know, we got a lot of young guys that are really now starting to come into their own, and you know, despite where we are in a difficult season, the, the, the learning curve and the development of these guys is really, uh, has really continued. Um, Kind of a battle of face-off today with Gaston and uh, their two guys. Um, we wound up winning the face-offs and the ground balls. What, what does that mean to you know to the team? I mean, it's it's important. And um, you know, to their credit, they they won some really important ones. We uh, we won we won good faceoffs. There's there's no doubt about what Gaston and his unit does and and how important they are to us. But you know, early on, those guys went on a pretty good faceoff run that uh, that we scrambled trying to trying to counter and and, and uh, very unlikely of us or. Um, uncharacteristic of us is is the amount of jumps that we had. So that was a little disappointing, and I think it came back to bite us on those free possessions that they got when they were making that early run. Um, yeah, you had mentioned the the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, kind of talk about that, and I know that's a special one here at VMI. Well, it is, you know, and 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 it's. Uh, it's a special thing for us as a program. It's a special thing for VMI, obviously, for, for, for obvious reasons. And, you know, this is, a, this is a tough one for us here. This is, a, this is a tough tough loss for us and for me especially. This is, a, this is such a special game for us and having this at home and, and, uh, and the amount of people and the amount of supporters we have. i, I got to be honest with you, John. You know, we pushed the guys hard this week and 100% um, and, and of the responsibility on my shoulders of, uh, of, of maybe pushing these guys a little too much. I thought we came out. And we're playing with the uh, with the the step and the speed that that we've become accustomed to out of our guys. We looked a little tired at times, and um, you know it comes back down to some of the things we did this week in preparation. And you know I, I don't regret pushing guys hard by any means, but this is such an important and a special game for us. Not only with Mercer being an Atlantic Sun Conference opponent moving forward, but but especially. Uh, uh, for the amount of people we have a chance to honor today, and um, I think looking back, I, I, I almost wish we, um, I almost wish that we had a, an extra step or two coming into this game, and, um, and and that's on me, you know, that's on me, and we got to be a little bit smarter prepping for these games moving forward. Uh, Coach, looking ahead, back into MAC play for the next two games, uh, including your home finale next weekend with Manhattan. Oh, it's all—it's all pride at this point, you know. I mean, it's a matter of of playing for pride and a matter of getting that first win and that conference win. And you know, Manhattan's done some really good things and been in some tight games. I know that they're fighting for the same thing with that first conference win. And and uh, and we love the fact that they got to travel down here and and have that game at home for us. So we're looking forward to it. Obviously, Siena's always a battle and a tough trip, but all we're focused on as of today is getting ready for Manhattan. All right, coach. Good luck next Saturday. At uh, at drill field number two with Manhattan. Looking forward to it, John. Thank you.